todos. Esta Enrique from Mowers and Blowers. Guten Morgen. That was all Chinese, by the way. Today, I'm going to be taking apart this power mower engine from Zongshen. I took it off of a um, good deck and uh, wheel push mower that I got for free. That's right, free. Gratis from my friend Jason over at Pate's Performance. He says this engine actually might run. It just is missing the cover, the air filter base, the air filter, the air filter cover. And to go out and buy those things is not really worth what a power more engine is worth. Not to mention the recoil starter, all that stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna take it apart because I've never taken apart a power mower engine before, at least one for a push mower, you know what I mean? And also I'm trying my new iPhone 13 cinematic mode. I'm supposed to be really clear, everything else is blurry. <laughs> That's the cinematography about it. But first, I'm gonna go sell one of my push mowers at the church. Have you guys seen my lawn? In the past four years, you guys have seen my lawn. Has it ever looked like this before? Gotta buy that $60 bag of uh, Scott's 3-in-1. It really works. How you doing this, Henry? Mowers and Blowers! Good morning. It's early morning on Thursday, uh, May 26th. I'm getting ready to leave for Indianapolis for the Indianapolis 500. I know it's been a few weeks. I, I've been ahead on videos by a month, you know. But uh, anyway, before I'm leaving for Indy, right, a guy messaged me about one of my push mowers with the bag. Uh, I'm gonna bring three because they've just been sitting in my van, see if he, you know, he can pick and choose whatever. It's a better way to sell a mower for sure because you give them a choice. They're gonna buy one out of the three as opposed to just having the one there, you know? We'll see what happens. <laughs> So very interesting, uh, he looked at the one that he wanted and he saw the other two. The one of them in the two had a bagger. It was almost the same one with a Tecumseh engine on it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that one I had for 150. He said he'll give me 120 for the one with the bag. So I gotta get rid of it somehow. 120 sounds good to me, you know what I mean? It's a Tecumseh MTD frame with a bag. No big deal, it's a push mower, not even self-propelled. So. 120 bucks, um, gas money for the trip to Indy. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. First thing we gotta do is we gotta take apart this, uh, I'm not take apart, we have to dump the Earl out. I believe it has Earl. Good Earl too. It's not a very heavy um, engine, so. Mm, yep, got pretty good Earl in it. Even though when you pour it out, it looks black, but when you look closely at it, it's good oil. Almost like new. Almost. That's good enough. So, um, I'm going to put you on time lapse and we're going to just uh, take it apart. I'll show you the parts sprawled out when I'm done.
Okie dokie. So that didn't take too long. It was fun. Um, the biggest problem I had was removing the crankshaft out of the bottom sump cover because crankshaft uh, bottom was so rusty that it wouldn't get by the uh, seal, you know. So anyway, we have the engine cover, um, the gas tank with a cap. We have a good, yeah, let me zoom in here for you. We have a good crankshaft with good journals and a connecting rod with good piston and rings. So, I mean, for people that have a blown power mower engine, I don't know if they would go through the trouble of fixing a push mower power mower engine, but you know, there are people out there who says, uh, who says, yeah, I'm gonna try to rebuild it, you know? Uh, this obviously to me and maybe most guys like you guys would just say, oh, it's just junk, just throw it away, you know? But some, and I've said this for many years, <laughs> some nut will buy it, okay? Some nut in America will buy it. Uh, it's a good sump cover, it's dirty, but sell it as is, whatever. As a governor and with a compression release, believe it or not, for a push mower, um, there you go. See? Sorry. <laughs> Can't see. Compression release on a push mower, um, governor. Oh, I'm sorry, camshaft. Um, so the small block is pretty good. It's got a bearing in there, as you can see. And, uh, it looks good. The bore, it's clean and no scratches not much wear at all it's good it's a good small block um got the dipstick and reservoir somebody may need one because it's cracked or something uh, brake kill assembly the flywheel so it has an ngk spark plug there's a throttle plate bracket and there's a carburetor it has a little rust in it as you saw from time lapse i removed the bowl just to take a peek you know and it was rusty inside but it wasn't too dirty so I'll keep that in case I run into another one of these crazy engines and maybe I'll need it. Uh, there's a magneto. There's no reason why I believe it doesn't work. So here's the uh, cylinder head and I'll include the valve cover and the bolts with it. Um, there's a muffler cover, the muffler, muffler bolts, muffler gasket. Uh, there's the muffler gasket, right? And uh, valve cover gasket. And that's about it. I mean, look, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna list like the block, I don't know, 20 bucks with like $18 shipping or something, you know? So somebody may pay 40 bucks for it, you know, if they needed the block. I, I wouldn't know why, because you know what I'm saying? Just put another engine on it. But some people don't maybe think about that. Why would you think about rebuilding it you know what i mean so i mean we'll see what happens i mean i don't know i've never listed these cheap push mower power mower parts i, I have listed the uh the big lawn tractor engine parts and they sell you know uh, everything has sold mostly uh the flywheel got the most money but anyway I'll, I'll list these parts individually and we'll find out and see how much uh we get for it i'll keep guys updated as the videos roll along yep Took pictures of everything that I was going to sell. Of course, even though putting uh, cardboard down still didn't uh, stop me from making a mess on my driveway. Putting a little bit of this floor absorbent that uh, I have from Super Clean floor absorbent. And basically just soak it up after a little while and uh, sweep it all up. And uh, no fuss, no muss, you know what I mean? So that's my uh, disassembly <laughs> of a power mower engine off a push mower. It was interesting to do. I've never done it before. We see all the parts that were taken from it and what's possibly money-making salvageable parts for eBay. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's disassembly video. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Later. This guy screwed this up. I'm gonna see you guys next time on Mowers.